Should do what first? Um, take your shower first. Do I stink? <laughs> kind of. What do you get when you cram a CB500F engine into a Honda CR250L frame? I think you get a glimpse into the future of adventure motorcycles as we continue to blend dual sport and larger adventure bikes into smaller, more dirt-oriented platforms. Let's go check out Levi Harris's one-of-a-kind build. Yeah, if you get pulled over some way, the uh, paperwork's in the phone case. So okay. I put my phone in here, Yeah. and then I use the GPS on it. Okay. And, uh, also, when I use my action cam, I have an uh, app so I can see what I'm doing if I'm recording or not. This is Levi Harris. He's an amazing guy. We met him on uh, Adventure Rider and we just went for a local ride and then I find out he's an engineer. And then he does this amazing thread and this amazing build. He's the only guy that I know of that has successfully accomplished this. The only bike I know of in the world that has been successfully made it a CB500, in this case F engine, to a CR, a Honda CR, 250L frame. So we're going to walk around this thing and Levi will here uh, help me explain what all he did here. So first, I guess let's just start with the, uh, well first let's do a little more background. This is kind of the opposite of what Rally Raid does. This is what a trained engineer spending over 200 hours of his professional time can do in his garage. It's a lot of work and a lot of sourcing of parts to make this work as opposed to the Rally Raid kit where you just bolt it on. It's also the opposite of what the guys in Thailand did. They took an X frame and built it yeah, up. Yeah, built the suspension up. And it made a huge bike. And then it's both of us, bike. see, and both of us are short dudes. <laughs> and so even after all this build, Levi ended up lowering the build. Altitude challenge. Yeah, that's right. So you start with the L engine. Yeah. And then you had to cut the frame way up here. Yeah, so we sectioned the frame. And cut it up there and move the pillar forward and then remove the uh, lower perimeter frame all together and made new. And then cut here. Yeah. Okay, cut and there. then these neat attachment removable points. Uh, yeah, ID you, tube clamps. I, okay, and you buy those and then weld them on. Mm -hmm. Very clean. So now you're actually able to remove the very tight fitting engine. Yeah, and it's still the, uh, the same height as the uh, 250L was stock. So it doesn't lose any. Ground. Okay, the ground clearance is the same. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you you tag on your uh, mounts here yep. and here, and then you got a very special mount in the back, which we can't really yeah, see. Yeah, it's, it's way down in there. But the uh, uh, one side of the tabs actually removes, so you can get the uh, the bolt out. Okay. Okay, so there there's a very tight fitting CB500 engine. Then of course you got the electrical wiring harness, and you took two schematics and yeah. sat there and figured out. And the plugs were all different, but you were able to figure out the wiring to plug it all back into yeah, so the 250L the controls. controls. All right. And all the uh, the plugs for the lights and and uh, the switches for the brake lights and things like that. Then you got your own custom exhaust, yep. uh, which is. Two, two into two, twice pipes, <laughs> right, like that. Yeah, and okay. a, uh, you know, from scratch oil pan to make it all fit too, because the uh, oil pan's quite low. Oh, that's right. So you took the, the stock oil pan off of this thing. Yep. Yeah, that's a new one. Oh, wow, and made a whole new oil pan. Now you can begin to get the level of detail and work that it takes to do something like this. You don't think you're just gonna whip one of these out in your garage over a weekend. <laughs> There's a lot of thought and effort went into this. Then you made your own custom bash plate here yep. made room for the oil can right there and of course your own custom um, kickstand yep. uh, welded from scratch to fit the lowering of the bike now on the suspension you took it's a uh, uh, race tech suspension okay so it's 250 l yeah 250 suspension l. with race tech components mm -hmm. race tech shock there race tech interior uh race tech guts with the heavy duty spring springs, uh -huh. right? in the two springs instead of one the, the uh, stock configuration only has one spring and this has a spring in both sides now okay and um and you had to fiddle around with the valving quite a bit to oh, get yeah. the suspension to where you wanted it yep. and then of course to lower it you just slide that through a little bit mm -hmm. and then add a lowering link right there yep nice big fat saddle for long rides ims long range fuel tank bolted onto that 
This triple tree and all this is right off of the L. That didn't change. Uh, yeah, except for the uh, the mount for the the damper. I welded in a mount. Uh, okay. You got the damper there and then you got your own custom fairing that you've made yep. right here with your own bracket tree and that sort of thing to give it that rally yeah get some wind protection too yeah it's good wind protection right here and stuff, you, you get the wind pressure off your chest yeah and the less fatigue it's so right there and there so that okay now tell me about the wheels you got uh 18 and 21 18 21 so i took a uh, the 650r hub and uh, machine different spacers to fit the this frame that way you have a cush drive because the uh, the 250l accomplishes that with a judder spring clutch hmm. and uh, the, the xf and uh, i don't know what the other one is they don't have a judder spring clutch so you really do need a, a cush drive to keep it to make it survive. So you had It'll to run, but you, you yeah, to beat up the chain in the sprockets. And, and yourself, uh. yeah. Put a cush drive in there, and it's a very smooth bike. So cush drive off a 650, and then your own custom rims, and then you got a uh, yeah, so large diameter floating. 250M from uh, uh, Thailand. 250M. Uh, the uh, brakes, yeah. Brakes and this here too. Uh, just the the uh, the spacer plate. The calipers actually okay. the same. They they didn't import the uh, okay. Motard 250 into the states. Okay, that's what the M model was. Yeah, Motard of the 250 yeah, version of this bike. Parts, but you can't get them here. And you had to spend a countless hours um, researching that Looking to get drawings and yeah. drawings and dimensions to see if it all fit. Yeah. And then the spacers and that sort of thing. Did you have to make some of your uh, own or? No, the spacers got all, to work. Well, fine. Except for the rear one, I did have to make some spacers. And, and I said to space the cush drive just a hair to uh, for chain alignment. Mm -hmm. That way the engine's still in there centered. Nice. It's a, it's a wide sucker. I'm sure. You yeah, yeah, but it's you know you got this. You, it's narrow right in here. For it's wide for a dirt bike, but narrow. Yeah, monster pegs helps. Yeah, that. so the whole thing then becomes a very lightweight version of the 500. A very lightweight, compact version of the 500. A 500 dirt bike. That's right at 350. 350 pounds. So that's fully a hundred pounds lighter. Than the the rally raid bike but it's a completely different machine too and it's the only one i know that is successfully made in existence levi harris the madcap engineer right here in his own backyard Probably. thanks levi that was cool man yeah right here in his garage twice pipe Got that instant CR500 fuel injected starts right up reliability. Man, that's mellow. Okay. 